You were just telling your Sarah story about Juan de Mar- Ramos going, mm. um, which is a good story. Tell it. Tell it. No, basically, obviously, he was he was struggling a little bit. We were near the bottom of the table, um, and we were at, in a hotel in Canary Wharf, um, and we get a phone call to our rooms, basically saying, "I oh, can everyone come down." Um, so you kind of half thinking, well, "What's going on here?" Like, I think you, you kind of guess that what's happening. I think maybe we're going to change the manager, but you don't know. So we get down there, and Daniel Levy's there, and he basically just says, "Oh, look, listen, we're going to go in a different direction. We'd like to fun- thank one day Ramos for what he's done for Spurs, won the the League Cup and stuff." But we're going in a new direction. Now, it's at this point, this moment, I can't remember if Harry walks in. Or, <laughs> it's like or, a reality yeah, show. Yeah. Or Harry's just sitting there. But it's like, well, Harry Rednap's going to be our new manager. Um, and he just stands up, all right, guys, how you doing? Um, yeah, I'm the new manager. And that was it. It was, it was, kind, of, it was kind of strange because it happened so quickly. Because we, we'd seen one day that morning. Yeah. So whatever had gone on must have gone on during the day. Took training. I'm pretty sure I took training. Saw him in the evening. Sure. Gone. Dan, you're suggesting that it wasn't just a bit of fortune that Harry was sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, Daniel Levy, Daniel Levy was I mean, like... That, have been, that, that, that would have been remarkable. Yeah, Daniel Levy's like, look, Juan Day's going. Does anyone know anyone? And Harry's yeah. just, <laughs> just thinking, all right, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 do, I'll it. do it. And with Juan Day as well, I think he came in, he got success with the League Cup, but I think he tried to change too much too quickly. A little bit mm. like Fabio Capello. Mm-hmm. He was the same. He, when he was a manager of England, he changed the menu, the food, and the boys were just like, whoa, this is, it's too drastic, too yeah. quick. And then after, the, I think it was 2010 World Cup where it didn't go to plan, I think he changed, he did soften a little bit and he changed up the menu a little bit. But one day was... <laughs> changed so the menu, is that the key th- part of all no, of but this? You no, know, but listen, so how, how, like, how drastically did right. Capello change the menu? We'll, we'll go one day first, because his was the, okay, the, right, the big okay. one. So That's one day... I'm interested in this. So usually... But say the night before a game, we'd have like there'd be a couple meat options yeah. and fish, okay, rice, okay, um, vegetables, okay. this stuff. And, but crumb- standard stuff. But then the dessert was the crumble, which okay. everyone always used to like. Okay. Apple crumble, right? This is why Spurs were bottom of the league. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> crumble, <laughs> they'd all eaten. But he, he and Mr. Kipling apple there was pie. salt, pepper, <laughs> everything, yeah. right? Yeah. One day came in. Yeah. There was one meat option. Yeah. One fish. Yeah. And maybe like rice or veg, and that was it. There was no salt, no pepper. Yeah. No flavour. I, I <laughs> thought you were going to. I thought you were going to say, but in the plus side, there was six options of yeah, crumble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no crumble. No crumble. And that was it. And that was like the lads are like, I'm not having this. Well, I'm you, downing tools well, you because know what I, mean? there isn't, I can't have a cherry bake roll. No, 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 but you know what though? I'm well, on eighty grand a week. No, but no, if no, I can't no, have no, rhubarb and custard, no, this is over. No, no, that's all right. When you've trained in the morning, yeah. and then obviously you've, you've had your lunch at the training ground, which has not been great, and then you get on a coach. Travelling to wherever you get to, and you get to the hotel, and you think, I'm a bit hungry, I can't wait for dinner. Yeah. And it will come down, there's dry rice, <laughs> dry pasta, by the way. There's a pasta option with no sauce. So you try and eat pasta oh, with no sauce. Go. He's got, got to, to go. go from where I'm sitting. Pasta, no sauce. <laughs> <laughs> no salt and pepper. What? <laughs> what, just not even, not nothing eat, on the Not pasta. even a tomato. Did, 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 not they tomato cook, sauce. did they cook the pasta? <laughs> the pasta was cooked. Okay, right. But you so try and eat we're... dry pasta, dry chicken, <laughs> and dry vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> and no crumble. And that was it. <laughs> and that was it. And what was his, did anyone say, Juan Day? Couldn't, couldn't have a bit of seasoning. Could people I? tried. People said to him one day, listen, like, people are struggling. To, put, put it this way. So, who, so, sorry, so, this, so, so you sent Ledley King to go and Ledley, talk to him? Ledley was like, listen, Gaffer, oh. this is, like, we're struggling here. We, well, we have to go to his, his number two because his English wasn't the best. Right. Gaffer, we have to do something with his food. You know, when, you know when, like, someone at school smells a bit and you're like, how do you, like, plant some deodorant near them? You know, Ledley <laughs> oh. King just, like, sitting next to Juan de Morris going, this Don Mio is really <laughs> yummy. Have you ever tried this? Just anything. Honestly, it was That's tough. amazing. <laughs> yeah, the, the food was really tough to eat. And it's, it sounds silly. It sounds ridiculous. But it's, it's tough. Honestly, I'm telling you, it's tough. <laughs> wow. One day oh. there's crumble, one day it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it there, says Johnny. That's Johnny and Kettering.